Hi, I'm Andy Bachman in the Department of Family Medicine. Uh, this is Bill Grant, who graciously has volunteered his time today to help me demonstrate the shoulder exam to, to you. Um, a couple of goals for today. One will be just a quick review of basic um, procedures for evaluating any joint. And the second really is just to give uh, you or your group um, kind of a road map for exploration or examination of the shoulder in your small groups. Uh, there's going to be a, uh, a lot more to learn about the shoulder in the future, and you'll have workshops uh, further on down the line that will give you more specifics about the shoulder exam. So we'll stay pretty general today. Um, first of all, uh, as with uh, many other things in physical diagnosis, we'll start with inspection. And you'll stand back from the patient and just, uh, uh, Bill, if you could just rest, relax your arms down by your sides, look for any signs of obvious trauma, bruising, swelling. Um, redness, uh, any asymmetry in the contour of the bony landmarks and the muscles of the shoulder. Um, secondly, then you'll palpate, palpate uh, various um, bony landmarks and the surrounding muscles. Uh, and finally, we'll um, look at range of motion. Um, we'll do active range of motion first. There are situations where you may want to passively uh, extend or um, abduct the shoulder to see how well the patient can do, but you want to start with the active range of motion first to notice whether there are any areas where they have pain. Usually when I'm doing an examination on a patient with symptoms, I'll start if he has, for example, right shoulder pain, I examine the left shoulder first just to let him know what to expect. Okay, so after doing the inspection part, next we'll just move to range of motion. Okay, and if you can just follow along with me, Bill. Start just with forward flexion. Just lift your arms in front of you all the way up. Okay, very good. Bring them down. You should get 180 degrees of forward flexion that way. Uh, and then abduction. Bring your arms straight up to your sides, all the way up over your head. You should also be able to get 180 degrees there. Sometimes this amount is just referred to as total elevation, which is a combination of the forward flexion and abduction. Okay. Um, and bring your arms down, and we'll examine you now for rotation. And there are a couple of different ways to do this. Um, an easy screening test for shoulder rotation is to test external rotation by having the patient put their hand in the back of their head with their elbow pointed out, okay? And for internal rotation to reach across to the opposite scapula in the back. Okay. Okay. Another way you can do this is just have the patient um, bring their arm up about 90 degrees in abduction and up. Okay, so that's external rotation and then internal rotation the other way. And you can see that he has about 90 degrees of motion either way. Okay, you can relax. And last, I'm just going to palpate some of the bony landmarks. I'm going to begin at the sternoclavicular joint here and palpate all the way up the clavicle. Let me know if any of this is uncomfortable sure. for you. And over the AC joint. Bring your arm up and come back. And I'm going to palpate over the greater tubercle of the humerus. And then just medial there, the groove where the biceps tendon resides. Okay. And finally, you can palpate the surrounding muscles to see if there are areas of tenderness there and also over the posterior part of the scapula. Uh, one of the cases that you'll have will mention the drop test, and I'll just demonstrate that to you. Um, if you have the patient begin with their arms at as much total elevation as they can get, now just bring your arms down slowly. Any of that uncomfortable to you? Yes, sir. A uh, positive test would be right about here. Uh, he would have to um, shift his uh, shoulder. It would drop suddenly through uh, this arc of motion here, and that would be a positive drop test. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.